Hey guys, I want to quickly show you how to get the Vunderbuss Wonder Weapon on the Shadowed Throne. Also how to open Pack-a-Punch. It's super easy. And then how to unlock a camo. That's easy as well. And it actually looks really cool. I've thrown together a map to show you guys kind of the layout of the map. It's actually not that big and pretty easy to get around. So once you get out of spawn and you head to the right, you can go through the theater and then you're going to have access to the church and the museum. There is a wall that separates like the spawn area from the other buildings. But yeah, once you get through the theater, it's completely open up and you can access the other buildings really easily. There's one part that you have to pick up for this wonder weapon and it's a battery and so far I've only found three spawn locations for it. There's one in the theater and two in the museum. There's an upstairs and a downstairs. The other steps for this wonder weapon are going to make you access a chart and I've noted that on the map. It's in the church and then you're also going to have to interact with a radio and that's just right out of spawn and on the left before you go to the theater. So I'll show you guys the locations of the battery. So right here I'm in the area that's past the theater and opened up to the museum and also the church. There's the church on the left. You can see it right there. That is the theater. And then on the right is the museum. If you're standing right here, you can go into the museum next to the Slappy Taffy and there's going to be a location right there on top of that box. Then you can just drop down and then go to the left. There's going to be another location for the battery next to the armor machine right there. Then you can spin around and go out the door that's going to head towards the theater. And if you go upstairs, just make a left right as you get into the theater and then go upstairs right here. There's going to be the last location right here. And this is the actual battery and what it looks like right here. It should show up in your inventory as the battery collected. And then what you can do is turn around and go out the front door of the theater and then make a right and head over to the radio in the corner. There's going to be a code on top of the radio on the left side, and this will always change. You know, every game, this is going to be different. This one says LS-2. Now you want to head back through the theater front door and then make a left, get into this area of the map, and then go into the church. You're going to see a map and also a chart that you're going to have to reference. There's going to be a red pin located on one part of this map. So you just want to make note of, you know, the name of that section and then find it on this chart right here. This one says spree something. I can't pronounce it, but now you want to match up the number letter combination that you found on the radio with the chart. The LS matches up with the bandwidth of 85.2 and then the two matches up with the frequency of 30.2. So you're going to take this bandwidth and go dial the radio to these numbers. So just spin around, head back out of the church and find your way through the theater so that you can go out the front door and then head over to the radio. Just hold X or square and it's going to set you in front of the radio and you have to be careful here because yeah you can get attacked by zombies so you're going to need somebody to help you or use camouflage or you know just have a couple of really slow zombies. Your left thumb stick is going to control the bandwidth left dial so just rotate that around and you don't have to be exact with this number just get it close. The right thumb stick controls the right dial and you just turn it either clockwise or counterclockwise depending on what number you need. Once you've triggered it you're going to see the light turn green and then just pick up a melee weapon and come back through the theater and then make a left right here. You're going to be opening up this lock box and then firing off some flares. All I did was hold left trigger on it and it opened the lock. I'm not sure if you actually have to melee it, but it looks like you do have to melee to finally get the flares to fly up. Once you trigger that, you can go back over to the area of the radio and you're going to see a zeppelin fly over. The zeppelin is going to target zombies and shoot bolts into them. Now you don't have to be in an open area for this to work. You can be inside buildings. They will be able to shoot that bolt through walls and ceilings. Once a zombie is injected with a bolt, you need to melee the zombie to collect that bolt. And once you have that, you can head back into the spawn area and go into a room where you're actually going to pick up the wonder weapon. This room is right outside of spawn and you need to put the battery right here. And once you have the battery in there, the gate's going to open and then just spin around and pick that battery back up. The doors are going to close. You need that battery to put into the wonder weapon to be able to pick it up. So go ahead and place the part and then you can pick up the wonder weapon. And once you do have it picked up, all you have to do is hold right trigger to electrify this area where the battery was and it will allow the doors to open back up. If you want to access pack a punch, you can do it at this time because you do need the wonder weapon to access it. So head back to the spawn area, get in. Sorry, my cat is going crazy <laughs> and you need some kind of grenade to blow this door open or this panel open right here and then use the right trigger to electrify those fuses. And once you do that, it's going to lower down the pack-a-punch machine 
And then at this point, you need to get these doors open. So there's another panel you need to blow open right over here. Just throw a sticky bomb or other grenade at this and it will blow this open. And this doesn't take very much ammo from this gun just to hit the right trigger. And then it's gonna let you know that yes, the doors are open and the Pack-a-Punch is now available. The Pack-a-Punch camo is the same so far across all maps from Final Reich to Darker Shore and this one. If you guys are looking for new camos to unlock, there's one that's really easy to do. And I love the way they set this up. The other day they posted a picture that had a hidden code in it. You entered the hidden code into the classified site on duty.com. It allowed you to access a site that showed you some of Drosten's journal entries. And on one of the pages, it showed a bandwidth and frequency of 38.9 and 39.7. If you head over to the radio on Shadowed Throne in the corner, then yeah, you just want to set the left dial close as you can to the 38 and then the 39.7. And you got to be really kind of accurate about this. So I just was like, you know, slowly inching my way over to 40 with the right dial and then it finally unlocked it. And it's called Seal's Errand. And here's what the camo looks like right here. It is a red animated camo and it looks like there might be some markings on it that may or may not be able to be translated. But I'll keep you guys updated if they are. But I hope this helped you guys out and we'll see you next video.